Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Corey I'm Cheap Horsepower. Strike that. Reverse it. <laughs> uh, I've got a great, great solution for people who have the same problem I do. Let me show you. Do you have a motor that looks like this? Is it three horsepower? Yeah. Uh, does it not have a lot of torque? Especially when you have a sprocket like that on it where it might be a little too small for the setup you're running and you can't find one of these anywhere for that engine i feel your pain i found a solution i made videos on how i did this so you'll be able to breathe easy and thank god this worked oh my god this bike is a schwinn stingray it's a chopper right Normally, people put like the uh, two-stroke engines on them, and they do okay. I'd rather go four-stroke. It's more reliable. It's easier. You don't have to do as much. I literally did this for free. I had the bike. I had the motor. I actually had the torque converter, too. Uh, I just had it off another project. Or, you know. Long story short, for like 10 bucks. Yeah, it wasn't exactly free, but like 10 bucks. I had uh, I had to buy the adapter sleeve. I'll go through it in all the videos that you're going to be seeing on how I did this. If you really want to solve that issue for yourself, you want to put a torque converter on a three horsepower, it's easier than you think. I found that out firsthand, and I'm so glad it was. I look forward to seeing a lot of you having this problem solved. Take care. All right, so this piece here... As you can see, there's a little split in there. Um, I need to try and knock out half of this. And a lot of you are going to be like, what? Why are you trying to knock out that? Well, I'm making a torque converter work on one of these small guys. And as you can see, that's not going to fit. So I have to put an adapter in between. The adapter, though, needs to have a key. One of these keys, it's just... It's not long enough, so it's not protruding past the adapter. So what I need to do is knock out some of that so I can put in a key here that's going to match with the inner key and this shaft. So when it's in this shaft, it'll protrude up. It'll go through the, um, the key that's there, the, uh, the adapter key. So it's going to keep the adapter key in place, the, uh, the you know, the... Um, it's like a little sleeve that goes over this. And then this is gonna go over that and this will slide into that adapter. So it'll all work together. It'll just be this piece will be um, doing its job to hold that adapter sleeve in place. And then that adapter sleeve will be holding this in place or this will, you know, attach to it. So it's a little bit of a, a job to get this done. Um, but I, I want to see how it works. It's only a three horsepower engine, so it, it, I don't think we're going to have any issues shearing keys or anything like that, but uh, only one way to find out is to test it out. So here's what I'm going to do with this. That little split, I'm going to try and knock with a flathead screwdriver and try and bust one of these out. If not, I'll take a Dremel bit and it's going to take some time shaving it all down, but that's what I'm going to do. So see you in the next one. All right, welcome back. Well, here's the progress so far. All I've been using is a flathead screwdriver and a hammer, and it's been doing pretty well. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, um, but what I am going to do is I'm probably going to file it down a little more once uh, once it's fully off, but it's making good progress. So I will be able to, to get all of it out, and luckily that crack was there. I, I don't think that's part of the original design, but if it is, it was a super huge help. Um, but like I said, normally you'd probably have to take a Dremel and uh, Dremel it out. Uh, but it usually takes a lot of time. This is, uh, for me, it's been much quicker. So yeah, that's what I'm doing All now. right, we're back. Check it out. That's the result. Uh, like I said, doesn't have to be the prettiest thing in the world. I just needed to have a little bit more space to put in um, another key that's going to be pretty effective. Um, let me see. I think I might actually have it in my pocket. Um, yep, sure do. Okay. 
So this little guy is gonna go in there. It's gonna go between this and the sleeve, but it's gonna go down far enough to where it's got a plenty of meat on it. And then, like I said, this is gonna go into the shaft. Sleeve's gonna go through here and it's gonna get locked into place with that and with this. So both pieces will be locked together just separately. All right, so what I've done here is, as you can see the white paint, I've marked where I need to cut it. So that'll give me plenty of meat there to uh, grip onto that adapter shaft. But uh, yeah, I just gotta saw that off. I'm just gonna use a cutting wheel and just zip and chop off that excess there and uh, excess and that's about it. Then we're gonna slide this stuff together and hopefully we'll have a torque converter after this on a three horsepower engine. Oh my God, it's gonna save my life. <laughs> it's gonna be so good if it works. We're gonna see. It's not doing any damage if it doesn't. I'll just throw this onto a six and a half or something, but you know, we'll see. All right, so welcome back. Check this out. This is what it looks like on the machine. So this is the three horsepower engine that I was talking about. This is the adapter sleeve. And then this is what's gonna go in between this and this. So this is gonna poke up just a little bit. As you can see, it's, it's a little bit taller um, than the piece that's going on it, uh, which is gonna be, uh, I've got a little clutch I can put on here. But anyways, uh, piece is gonna slide over all of this. This is gonna, this piece here is just gonna slide all the way back to that little tab. And I made it a little angle. Um, it's hard to see, but I put a little angle on there so I can maximize uh, how much metal we actually have making contact with both pieces when they go in. So I'm gonna drive this in because it, it's, it's a little tight, um, which is actually a really good thing. So it should keep everything together really, really well. Um, but it's also gonna make it hell to come off. So that <laughs> it might, bite me in the butt later but um hopefully uh hopefully it'll be all right hopefully this runs the way i want it to run and i won't have to take it off because this thing will probably out outlast the motor um so we'll see how it goes hopefully fingers crossed we can make this work right, this is gonna be the last images before that is closed all the way up so fingers crossed let's tap this in and hopefully it doesn't get stuck if it does, I'll back it out and um, I guess uh, put a smaller key in there, but I don't think I'll need it. I think it'll be fine. Actually, I know it'll be fine, but uh, let's do it. No, so close. I need to shave it down. Um, I need to make it flush with that so it'll slip right in. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna shave down that key and then put it back in and then it'll slide right underneath that whole piece and this whole piece will just go whoop right where it's supposed to go all right so this is this is that piece i'm going to be shaving down i'm taking a screwdriver right now and i'm going to push up a little bit and get get it up perfect see that's about how much is sticking out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten it all up. I'm going to do this again. Get it right where it's supposed to be as I'm tightening it out. Am I tightening or am I loosening it? Well, either way. There we go. Sorry. Anyways. I'm going to do this off camera because it's kind of pain in the ass. But you get the idea. You clamp it down. Uh, you get it to where you want it. And then um, you shave it down. That's what I'm going to do. Alright, we'll find out if that's enough soon. But shaved it down. And now it's going to go into that. And we'll see how it goes. Like a glove. That worked out perfect. And it's still got plenty of meat on it. And like I said, there's that little upturn back there which uh, will force that up a little bit further as I'm pushing it back. So she's going to be good. That'll hold. All right. Welcome back to Cheap Horsepower. And it looks successful. I got to get the uh, um, the bolt that'll go into the um, 
the, the, the shaft, but this whole piece moves together. It feels really solid. Um, it looks like it, uh, it's going to do its job. So, um, looks can be deceiving though. We'll see. Uh, only time will tell if this thing is actually going to work or if I just wasted a bunch of time, but, uh, yeah, that's what we're dealing with right now. So, um, luckily this piece was able to slide back and forth cause I had to put it on, uh, and off a couple times. So that's good news. It looks like the chain's going to work really, really good with the, the setup. So dude, fingers crossed uh, again. Uh, but I'm going to get that bolt, uh, tighten this all down and then it'll be ready for a test. Oh, so nice. <laughs> I actually had a bolt that was perfect perfect length too it had to be pretty lengthy uh i believe if i remember correctly this is either an m6 or an m8 uh by 125 but don't quote me on that um look it up it's like a honda clone so three horsepower honda whatever that keyway is probably be the same this is a baja uh 97 cc engine so uh either way um it's all ready to go uh other than i'm gonna tighten this up put a chain on it uh, chain's already there. I just need to shorten it. Um, and then this thing is going to be like right there. It's going to be like ready to go. Oh my God. Right there, right at the finish line. So here we go. All right. Take a look at that. That is hitting that. So that needs to go. Um, I was hoping I can keep it on there, but it's going to hit. So I'm just going to take it off. It's not a big deal. Now, here we go. She runs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. It is cheap horsepower time, and check this puppy out. It came out so good. Runs good. The brakes really suck, <laughs> but it is. Dude, that thing is so sick. Right, that angle right there. That is awesome. You can see the tank too. The tank is the original tank from that motor. But look at how good that turned out. I love the one wire for the brake too. <sighs> it needs better brakes, but at the same time, for the sake of coolness, that's about as cool as it gets. It's really, really clean. Uh, <laughs> the other thing is this is how I kill the motor. <laughs> I pull that off, so... Uh, I'll probably have to come up with a kill switch for it, but uh, as far as the cool factor goes, I think I'm going to call this thing the running shoe, because it looks like a running shoe, at least uh, in my eyes, but uh, yeah, good to go. I can't believe that torque converter worked. That came out so amazing. So uh, for those of you following the other videos, that is awesome on this little three horsepower it gets it up to about 20 or more uh, miles per hour i haven't even hit top speed on it yet so it might go faster i'll find out but uh at least on that little motor it does great um i could probably put a bigger motor up there but this is fine for now at least for the bicycle frame and not having the best brakes in the world it uh it actually works really really good so that is it for now complete time to go for a ride I'll see you later.